Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So in this video I think I will show you how to do a generic kernel uh, config for your system. Now I'm going to try not to do more specifically on a Gen 2 system. Um, I'm going to try to do it like an overall uh, config here or what you need to look for and how to get some of the modules and stuff like that to to work in your system. So uh, I've moved over to the 4.8, sorry, 4.16.8 config. So that's where I am right now. Now I, I don't know exactly, I've not done this on like an Ubuntu, Fedora, or Arch, but under Gentoo, if you go to the user, SRC, and then the Linux, you should be in your kernel and to what you need to look for on this is the dot config right here so what we're gonna do is say make menu config and then this will open up our Linux kernel configuration now this screen is gonna be pretty much the same on any distro you are in um, the only difference is that some distributions uh, modify their own kernels to fit their needs. Uh, I know that Gentoo and Arch, they put on a lot of security patches and other stuff like that into it. So, But for what you need to look for, let me open up another one here. Uh, really the only ones you really need to look for is the dri device drivers and file systems and maybe network support so under file systems if, especially if you are building your first Gen 2 and you only have extended 4 you could get rid of everything that's not so I can get rid of the XFS the JFS, RiserFS, stuff like that so I only have extended 4 in here with extended 2 because I have extended 2 on my boot partition now you can get to the screen from the gen kernel for gen 2 uh, I think it's gen kernel space dash dash make menu config or menu config stuff like that it is in the manual it's in the handbook to do it that way um, but yeah so make sure that the file systems that you need are built in so we'll exit out of that so the more important thing is uh, that you should have two things ls utils and usb B utils. So these will actually show you what you need for your kernel. So if we go over to the actual configure man PCI utils. So what you need to do for these is um let me get to it here. Forgive me really quick. So what you're going to do, uh, like under my system here, sorry, so you're going to say ls oh man it's been a while since I've done this um, one second here okay yeah so I forgot uh, you have to go in sudo lspci dash k so with the dash K, it will tell you uh, all your hardware stuff. So in the gen kernel, the uh, a lot of the Wi-Fi drivers are in there. However, when I did my first uh, my first uh, kernel config in this computer that I have, it did not have it. So. Uh, I had to build in this one. So if we search for this, so if we do a backslash and say IWLW Wi Fi, 
it'll give you a list of where you need and I had to make this as a module because built in it did not work for me so suggestion is I would like if it's in your machine I would build it into the kernel if that doesn't work then I would make it as a module so that's a good rule of thumb in my eyes uh, but there are people out there who are better kernel um, configures than me so the next thing so if you want to look in your device drivers you could say the plug and play support if you have anything like that uh, the ones that you really need to look for is network device support and you can do your ethernet support stuff like this now why why wireless so here's the stuff that I had right here what we were looking at earlier but the more important one is your let's see if I can find it here your architecture oh, let's go back so say like I have an Intel Core i5 8250U so what you want to do is go down to you can say your graphics support <clears throat> and if you have an Intel driver um, you could find it in here I believe I have a Intel GPU also uh, so I have the a Intel HD graphics here so if you had an AMD GPU it would be this one if you had Novu you would build that in but you can go backlight LCD so this will do your backlight driver and then you could say boot up logo now if you're doing Lux slash LVM you do not need a boot up logo um, if you want to learn more about that Meshi has a excellent tutorial on how to get Lux Plymouth and LVM on Gen 2. It's very good. I I did it a few months ago and it worked beautifully. So the next thing you could do your sound support. Now make sure that you have a lot of this built in. Say USB sound devices. Now I have a USB headset to make this video so I had to build that into a module. Uh, most of the stuff you could probably leave if you want to know what OSS Mixer is, if you do that and do the question mark, it will give you a general idea of what it does. And if you still don't know, if you still don't understand what it does, I would just leave it alone. Um, so I'll just go back here. Uh, just a few more things here. So MMC, SD, SDI card support. So for this, it would be my... SD card reader. Now if you have an SD card you want to make sure that MMC block device driver is working for sure. Um, Real-time clock. A lot of this stuff you can pretty much skip but uh, we're just gonna look at one more thing if I can find it here. So the only ones really that you need to look for are your sound, USB, your sound, your graphics, multimedia support. Let me see if I can find it here. Processor type and features. Here you go. So uh, you can do it based off of a Dell legacy laptop support. I believe in some of this, uh, AMD again. Uh, I believe some of them uh, in here, it's been a while since I've actually gone through my config here, but I believe uh, they actually have different laptop manufacturer stuff on here, in here, and you could build that in to actually make it run even better. Here's my EFI support. I actually had to build that in because I am on EFI. So I had to build in the EFI in here to make sure that EFI works on Gen 2. So again, 
a lot of this stuff is not Gen 2 Pacific. It's not a distro specific stuff. The only thing that distros do differently is they put in a certain patch set or some security stuff. They try to make it a little bit better on their system to make it run faster. But with a distro like Arch and Gentoo, um, especially Gentoo, you can add stuff in. But <clears throat> if you take the the kernel from the kernel.org, you can do this yourself. Um, firmware drivers, I don't really touch those. File systems, we already went through. If you want to do cryptographic API, this is where you would put in all your um, your hash methods, your encryption methods, AES cipher, SHA-1, blow, Blowfish, uh, triple DES, which is isn't too bad. It goes through a couple of uh, cycles before spitting out. Uh, the encryption part of it. Two fish, it's uh, more of an open source one. So if you really want this built in, I would add that. Especially if you're doing LVM and, well, you don't need Lux, more, more specifically Lux. So you can say general setup under local version you can actually name the kernel whatever you want so I did mine as Irish so I can tell you that that is my own kernel so if I did build in the gen kernel I would name it differently and then I could tell between the kernels even if it, it has a different if it has the same versioning number <clears throat> plus you know it's kinda cool to brand the kernel yourself because you did the legwork on built putting in and taking out stuff from the kernel this does take a while especially if you don't know what you're doing it did take me a long time to get mine done um, one more thing also virtualization so if you want KVM support for Intel or AMD you can do it that way I usually don't do KVM so I could actually get rid of that so once you're done with that, um, should be something as simple as say make and then the core. But uh, let me know if it's uh, different in the other distros. Uh, under Arch, it's pretty much the same thing. And that's pretty much it. It's just you need to take your time. Make sure you use the LS PCI, and then there's the LS USB. Dash K. Uh, let's do V. So here is everything that's in my system under quote unquote USB. So if we shift up here, uh, if you could probably p put this into a text file and then use grep to find a specific thing. That's what I had to do for my SD card reader. Um, and my USB headset because I couldn't find it in uh, the normal LS PCI. A lot of the stuff is already built into the kernel itself, but the ones that you really need to optimize is your Wi Fi card and your GPU because those things, if you don't set those up correctly, you can tell there might be screen tearing or it might not even boot up so <clears throat> let's see if this is almost done so after that you just need to install the modules and then run uh, just update your grub if you're using grub and pretty much that is it uh, if you want a more in-depth view on the Linux kernel uh, I suggest going to Das Gregor uh, video it's I believe the title is a brief but long look at the Gen 2 kernel or the Linux kernel. Uh, he does go into more in depth, but <clears throat> I pretty much paraphrased a lot of stuff that he said in there. So again, uh, I would suggest on any distro 
always have a backup kernel in case something doesn't go right. You always have a kernel to go back into. Um, because if you only have one kernel and it doesn't boot after your tinkering, then you may have to take a live CD of your distro and true into it just to restore the defaults or just to keep on tinkering with the kernel to make it work. But uh, yeah, always have two kernels uh, just in case one does break on you and then you can get back into your system. So that's my suggestion. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions on uh, anything you've seen on here. Again, the only thing I need to do uh, is install the modules after this, and then that's pretty much done. I have done one uh, on the Gen 2 kernel before, but um, English Bob was uh, tinkering with Calculate Linux and trying to optimize his kernel. I think Calculate does it a little differently than Gen 2 does, so it may, they may have a different way of doing it, but going into the kernel and doing it that way is the same across the board, So, which I love about uh, the Linux kernel. So that is all I have in this video. I will catch you guys in the next one.